day two? I'm still here. I know. I'm surprised too. Okay, Yvonne. Comb down Empress to make sure we got off all the dirt to make sure her hair is nice and flat. Okay. To start, we put on the saddle pad and the saddle. Is it heavy? Yep, it's a little heavy, but not too bad. You get used to it. Throw the belt under, make sure that's nice and snug. To finish, you'll take the sear bridle and you put it on her head. So you got the saddle pad, the saddle, and the bridle. It's not too bad, right? You have to do that every day. Sounds like a lot of work. Yep, but it's important work. When you care about something, you take care of it. Now, you guys do the same to your horses. Wait, wait, what? Where are you? What? Come on, come on, what? Dude. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'll help you out. <laughs> Does anybody know what the showdio is? It's kind of like a rodeo, isn't it? That's right. It's a big whoop de doo here at the Saddle Ridge Ranch. So today, I want to make sure you're real comfortable with your horses. We'll work on your riding skills, and then you'll compete in the showdio at the end of the week. And now, in the center ring, the boy who can only ride in circles. Do we all have to do it? Don't you worry. By the end of the week, You'll be ready to go. Back in the Old West, this place was filled with bison, elk, moose, and even mountain lions. I'm glad some of that's changed. Sounds kind of dangerous to me. I mean, kind of awesome. So I said the grass was definitely greener back then. <laughs> well, let's pick up the pace and grab some grub. I'll take all three. I think I'm allergic to all of that. Can I just get a grilled cheese? Ah. Do you really serve rabbit? Like little bunnies with floppy ears? Hmm. Never fixed them with the ears on, but if you like to fry some up. Slow down, Gabby. These cow pokes are new to the ranch. Why don't we start them off with the old saddle ranch surprise? Coming right up. <laughs> you guys are wimps. I've eaten frog legs, alligator. This will be a snap. This here is one of a kind. I don't think I can eat any of that. Sure you can. Just like the cowboys in the Old West. Max, why don't you give it a try first and tell everybody how good it tastes. Yes, I'd love to, but I actually had a really big breakfast and I don't think I could eat another bite of anything. Interesting. Hmm. Caleb, why don't you give it a try? I didn't want to try it, not even a little bit, but I knew Jed wouldn't give us something gross, so I fought everything my brain was saying and did it anyway. What's the matter? 
Chicken! Tastes like chicken. <laughs> oh, I brought some grilled cheese for you, little tender things. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try the snake. Come on, Yvonne. It's pretty good. Okay. Max, I thought you weren't hungry. It's strange. That's what I thought too. Well, there's still some snake left. I've already started this. I, I don't want to be wasteful. That's all right. There's snake in the grilled cheese too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish up. I'll go check on him. <laughs> Yvonne, do you want one? No. You don't want to be here either, do you? No. I love it here. I got a phone call from my best friend last night. She said her parents are getting divorced. Uh, I'm sorry. I just can't believe it. My friend is so upset. And I love her parents. It's just a total surprise. That's tough. It's hard to understand why things like this happen, especially the people we love. Yeah. My grandma died last year. My dad told me that even in tough times, I need to remember that God does care about me. No matter how I feel, I can trust him no matter what. I didn't say anything. I just sat there thinking about what Joni said. Maybe being out here isn't the worst thing that could happen to me.